Hey, what's up? I'm Coach Ryan Family from the Viper Pit. Today I want to give you one of my favorite methods, a short-term method for boosting strength endurance, work capacity, and muscle hypertrophy in lagging body parts. This is an awesome method that I like to use for three to six weeks at a time, no more than six weeks. Um, and it can be great for isolation, exor isolation exercises for weak body parts or body parts you're trying to bring up. Um, it's also great for body weight movement. So if you're trying to build your things like push-ups, inverted rows, body weight squats is another great method. It's called the total rep goal method. And you add this in at the end of your main part of your workout. So in this example, we're gonna say uh, triceps are a weak body part or a body part we wanna bring up. So we're gonna use the total rep goal method for triceps pushdowns at the end of our main workout. So let's say our workout, we're already gonna do our close grip benches, we're gonna do our dips, we're gonna do our skull crushers. And then at the very end, we're gonna do tricep press downs with the total rep goal method. You pick a weight, you pick a rest period, and you pick a total rep number. So in this case, the weight, I want it to be around a 20 to 25 rep max. So let's say 100 pounds on the press down, a rest interval, you want it to be an incomplete rest interval, so let's say 30 seconds, and then a rep goal. 100 is a good total rep goal to start with for your first workout. What you do, you do as many reps as you can to those tricep press downs. Let's say you get 25 on the first set. Great, you go to failure. Take that 30 seconds rest interval, and then you rep to failure again, and go and add up your total number of reps. Take another 30 seconds, and you keep going with as many sets to failure as you need to get to that 100 total rep target. And then you're done for the day, all right? Now, you wanna progress this over time, and there's two ways that I like to progress this. The first is to keep the weight the same and the rest interval the same and add more reps as you go. This is great if you're just starting out and you really need a boost in your work capacity or if you're really trying to drive numbers up, like if you're doing it for push-ups and you really want to build your push-ups. Um, so week one could be 100 reps, week two could be 120 reps, week three could be 140 reps, etc. All the way up to, I've used it as much as 300 reps before and it's been very, very effective. The next way you can make progress is keep the weight the same Keep the total reps the same and decrease the rest interval as you go. So that 30 second rest that you're taking, maybe in week two it becomes 25 seconds rest. Week three it becomes 20 seconds rest. Week four is 15 seconds rest, etc. Using the same weight and same total rep target of 100 reps. This is an awesome, awesome method for a quick, rapid, short term boost in progress, but you will eventually accommodate, okay? After three to six weeks, you kind of lose a little, a bit of the squeeze of the juice and you need to move on to something else for better progress, all right? I'm Coach Ryan Finley from the Viper Pit. Try total rep goal training in your next workout. Um, if you like this video, please hit subscribe below. I'll catch you next time.